A lot of photographers give manual focus cameras like rangefinders a lot of rap because they think that it isn't faster than autofocus. And theoretically, it obviously isn't, but with rangefinders especially, you might be focusing the cameras wrong. A lot of the videos out there online say that you should focus the camera basically like this. So you have the camera wide open, or the lens rather, wide open, and you go ahead and you use the frame lens. And what's happening is this spot right here is allowing light in. So you have to sit there and you have to look at the images and you have to basically line them up and you have to look at the framing. That's not really how you're supposed to focus a rangefinder. That's actually the most inefficient way of doing it. What a lot of photographers have been doing for a really long time is using a method called the zone focusing system. I did a video on this a while back, but I'll recap it here. Basically what happens with the zone focusing system is you look at your lens and you look at the depth of field scale. Every single lens has one. And then you look at the apertures and you stop it down and you focus to a certain distance away. And then you look at what the apertures say in terms of the line and you line it up and you can tell, okay, so at four feet away, I'll have this much in focus or at five feet away, I'll have this much in focus. And that's how photographers and photojournalists have actually used rangefinders for a really long time to get faster focusing. So basically, that old adage of F8 and be there, that's really more or less true. Because when you use the 35mm film format, or full frame these days, or APS-C, or micro four thirds, or whatever, and you walk up to a subject within a certain distance, and you use a wide-ish angle, you're going to basically get everything in focus, and you may even have some emphasis on the subject based on lighting and a whole bunch of other factors. So basically, instead of shooting like this, what you're actually going to be doing is shooting like this. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Because of this, actually working with manual focus lenses and rangefinders can be a whole lot faster than when you work with an autofocus lens and camera. Sure, autofocusing is actually pretty darn good these days. If you look at what Sony, Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Fujifilm, what basically every camera manufacturer offers, all of their cameras and lenses are actually very usable when it comes to autofocus, but not necessarily in the fastest situations. The fastest situations obviously have to do with sports photography or photojournalism or weddings, more dealing with capturing a scene versus creating a scene. When you are creating a scene, like shooting a portrait subject, you can take your time. When you're doing the same thing with landscapes, you can really take your time, let's be honest here. But when a moment happens within a split second, it's really tough to try to get that scene quickly and sharply in focus. But you can do so with a manual focus lens very quickly. When you're going around on the streets doing some sort of street photography, if you use something like a 35mm f1.4 lens and you stop it down to say, let's, I'm using the Zeiss 35mm f1.4 right now with a Leica CL, and what it says, basically, is if I stop down to f8, and if I focus down to uh, 5 feet away, let's say 5 feet away, uh, then anything in between 4 feet and 7 feet away from me will be in focus. This camera right now is probably around 3.5 feet away from me, but my desk, which is behind it, is around 7 feet away. So if I just put the camera right up to my eye, I can see that's in focus, and there you go. It'll work. So, when, next time that you actually go out street shooting, or if you're trying to do some sort of candid shooting, consider the zone focusing system. Or, if you've given rangefinders a bad rep because of this, consider what I said and give it another try. If you like videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to The Photographer on YouTube. Thanks a lot, folks.